Hey, what's up? This is Amazon here. Amazon sell a lot of products from the extremely popular things to a little bit more niche. It's also an absolutely enormous clothing retailer. Data showed that last year it was the biggest fashion retailer in the US with sales topping $41 billion. All of that money spent can't be wrong, can it? The shopping experience must be pretty good, right? Must be loads of ways to find great clothing to make you want to spend more money. Ah, <laughs> uh, shopping on Amazon sucks. Here's why. All right, Amazon, I fancy myself a brand new bomber jacket. Let's see what you've got for me. Sweet, on page one right here, we've got the men's bomber jackets, casual windbreaker, zip pockets, jacket, outdoor, autumn, winter, warm coats. Sounds great. And just below it, we have the equally appealing sounding men's bomber baseball jackets, winter retro military jacket, warm cargo coats with zipper pockets. These are some catchy names, but it's pretty hard to choose between the two because it looks like they're almost identical. Like I know an MA1 is an MA1 to some extent and the arm pockets do look like they're a little bit different, but is it just me or is the inner lining like weirdly the same picture. Like, is this some AI generated image or something? Am I going crazy here? Hard to decide as well between the two well-known brands of Mag Confson and Kefitevd. Kefitevd. I think I remember Hypebeast running an article about Kanye wearing some new release stuff from Kefitevd. Kefitevd. The Kefitevd does claim both warm and cool fission, vintage and modern. Is there anything this jacket can't do? This jacket does seem great, it's nice and cheap as well, and luckily Amazon being such a large and respected platform, there is a wealth of customer information to help us with our purchasing decision. Is this jacket waterproof? Uh, I haven't been outside in the rain in my jacket, but I'm not convinced it would be waterproof in anything other than a light shower. Well, Dudley is not convinced, so we'd better check the reviews. There's over 250, by the way, and they'll give you some pretty valuable information. Mm, good jacket. What is a gift for my daughter? That's great, but is it warm? Some people in the review say, yes, it is. Good jacket. Other people say, actually, no, it's not warm. That's a bad jacket. At the same time, it fits well and is also too big. And in the case of poor Scotty here, he thought it was too small, but the Kefitevd moderators got to him before he could finish the review. Pockets have no lapel over I2, and rain goes in pockets, it's... It's what, Scotty? It's what? And of course, we also have people saying it's both a good high quality jacket and it's not only a low quality jacket, but uh, like fake and it didn't match the product pictures. Thank you, Amazon Reviews. You really cleared things up for me. I think I've got all the answers I need regarding this jacket now. Ordered. We can see what that's like later when it actually shows up. I wish that was a cherry picked example, but they were literally in the first lines of results on the first piece of clothing I thought to look for. It only gets worse as you scroll down page one as well. If I'm looking for a bomber jacket, I probably don't want high-vis gear. I do be looking kind of safe though. Admittedly, there are some actual brands too, but the proliferation of non-brands and weird generic products which aren't really fashion is so high that it almost makes the branded stuff look less desirable. A fun fact, this is actually semi-intentional. As far back as 2013, Amazon were actively going after Chinese factories and giving them an opportunity to sell their clothing in the West, both to undercut domestic products and to start learning what kinds of products and what kind of clothing Western consumers would most want so they could tailor their output accordingly. In theory, this is a great idea for selling cheap products in large quantities, We've talked about AliExpress before, it's exactly the same kind of concept, except Amazon is obviously easier for us Westerners to make use of. But now other websites like Shein have taken this model and really run with it. They've nailed this kind of hyper fast fashion model of ordering huge numbers of different styles of items from loads of different factories in very small quantities and then making reorders of the things that sell out quickly to almost try and spot the trends before they happen. Amazon comparatively has been left in the dust selling a comparatively very plain, cheap clothes. So the generic stuff may be not so hot. Unfortunately, the experience of shopping branded clothing is equally tragic. You'll basically never find a hot new release product from a respectable brand on this website. And I'm not just talking unattainable luxury fashion stuff, but even mainstream sportswear. Nike have officially stopped selling on this platform because of how chaotic and full of fakes the marketplace is. When the world's biggest sportswear brand doesn't want to sell on your platform, which is quantifiably absolutely 
really enormous and has millions of customers, you're probably doing something wrong. Something like 86% of clothing on Amazon is sold through Marketplace rather than through Amazon themselves, which is higher than most of the other categories. This means that there is basically no standardization in terms of both price and the actual item. Want a pair of New Balance sneakers? Great, Amazon's got them, but what's the difference between this pair and this pair, which is 50% more expensive, that have different names, but appear to be exactly the same thing? And are they blue like the product pictures, or black like the product description? This would be fine if it was an isolated incident, but it feels like every single product you click on, you're spinning the wheel. Is my size gonna change the price of this item? Are they even gonna stock it in my size? Who's gonna sell it to me when I pick the size? Is everything gonna match up between the products and the descriptions? Like, wow, we're having so much crazy fun over here, woo. This is only compounded by the surprising lack of product range from these brands. Go back to New Balance. Yeah, you can scroll down, there's a few different models and a couple of different colors in some styles, but this is a lot less than what you would expect to find from a fashion retailer or a sneaker store. There are quite a few articles about Amazon signing deals with various brands who try and make shopping here feel a little bit more legitimate. The kind of brands that have a bit of a reputation for being mainstays of outlet malls and super heavy discounting. Maybe they're the kind of things that would work well on those shopping events like Prime Day, so people have the opportunity to do the whole like, oh my god, I got a thousand dollar jacket for three hundred dollars, amazing. Or whatever, but it doesn't really really paint Amazon as a fashionable shopping destination. All this time, and we've not even checked out any tech wear clothing yet. Of course, Amazon can kit you out in all the freshest gear from top brands like Z Zik Zonghu and Hello Mr. Lin. Whoever wrote that thought they were writing an email and not setting up a product on Amazon. If these sorts of things look familiar, yeah, that's because they're basically the same kinds of products that you'll find on Techware dropshippers. In some cases, using the same images. I suppose the prices are pretty rock bottom, but alongside that, we're gonna get, on the whole, pretty low quality products. And in fact, checking through some of the reviews for these items, you'll see exactly the same complaints people make of dropshippers seen here. Like the sizing not matching up, the overall product quality being low, the things that people are sent being different from the product pictures. This is really down to the marketplace problem because absolutely anyone can set up a store on Amazon and start selling stuff, there is absolutely no vetting process for quality or style or any of those things, whereas a regular website will probably have buyers who will establish what kinds of brands and pieces they want to order. And they'll probably be a little bit more discerning than the random seller that's managed to nail the SEO with the men's jogger pants, techwear, hip-hop, harem pants, streetwear, tactical track pants. I couldn't possibly imagine why Nike didn't want to be associated with this website. Luckily for Amazon, it isn't just about providing a marketplace to sell clothes, but revolutionizing the way people shop with some amazing high-tech services and initiatives. And boy, have they tried a lot. How about Amazon Spark, designed to rival Instagram with a whole bunch of influencers posting the outfits they were wearing that were bought on Amazon and providing links of where you could buy them. Turns out that kind of thing doesn't work so well when the only things you have access to are other things available on Amazon. So they shut that down, and instead they just ask people to put hashtag founder on Amazon with their fashion purchases on Instagram and TikTok, which has just become flooded with all kinds of other Amazon purchases that are non-fashion. In fact, the only ones that I could find that were fashion related on TikTok were sponsored by Amazon. They look really great though, really makes me wanna shop there. One of the things they haven't canned though is called Style Snap. You can take a picture of yourself, or anyone I suppose, upload it to Amazon, and they will suggest products that are similar to the things being worn. So I'm gonna take a little recent picture of myself and we can give it a go. Okay, here's a nice pic with my J16. Amazon, please show me some more cool jackets I can buy. I mean, it does technically work in that it does suggest things which look kind of similar. We've got a lot of jackets that have a similar color, uh, but like the rest of Amazon, we've got a mix of actual brands and sort of random generic non-brand stuff. In fact, this thing here from MFCT is the fake 11 by BBS brand that's all over Techwear dropshippers. And if you go to the brand store, we've hit the gold mine for hashtag Techwear clothing. 
wonderful. The thing is, I could see something like this being quite cool if it was applied to a store that had a really good inventory. So you could take a picture of something that you really liked and get some really great suggestions of interesting jackets or whatever as an alternative, but you don't really get that here. Did you know that Amazon has a personal shopper service as well? Oh yeah. For just $4.99, you can be styled by one of Amazon's professionals in the finest that Amazon fashion has to offer. Based on what we've seen so far, I would pay $4.99 to not do that. Actually, I'll tell you what, I bet some of you are desperate to see what that would actually look like. So I'm gonna set a challenge. If this video hits, let's say 100K views by the end of the year, then uh, I will take one for the team and I will actually give that a go. I know that's a lofty target, but that reflects how much I really don't wanna be styled by Jeffy B and the boys. And we're back. The cathetived jacket has officially arrived. Got a haircut as well. Sorry for the continuity error. I went for the wine color. It's a little bit more unusual than your standard black and uh, good as well because this is a fairly by the numbers jacket. So anything that gives it a little bit more personality is definitely no bad thing. Also means I could use this as direct comparison with the acronym J90SS that I picked up pretty recently. Same kind of bomber jacket silhouette, but monstrously more expensive. That one retailed at about $1,200 compared to sub 50 for this one. So if you wanna see a direct cheap versus expensive comparison type video, then let me know. Of course, we do have a little bit of label comedy going on here. This doesn't say cafitived anywhere. Uh, it says outdoor jacket, always striving for exoellence. Let's create our splendid future through innovate, rigorous, and strength. Amen. I feel like this absolutely meets expectations. The sizing is fine, it looks and feels pretty much as I thought it would. It feels on par overall with a fast fashion product. That's to say, it's not exactly premium. I think the lining is very thin feeling. There's some sort of loose stitching and stuff going on around here, but neither is it absolute garbage bin bag quality. I also think it looks okay on me. It's not gonna win any awards for adventurous design, but I think that's to be expected. And to be honest, that probably works in favor of this, not trying to be too ambitious. Overall, I think it's one of the better purchases in this series of videos on the channel, for sure. What I will say actually is where Amazon does work for clothing stuff is when it comes to specific accessories. For example, I've bought like carabiners and little molly attachments in the past, and there's less to go wrong there, frankly. It's just those little extra accessories, maybe they're things that are a little bit tricky to find elsewhere, but Amazon having such an enormous inventory means that they can cover that stuff fairly well. I've bought stuff like hats and net gaiters as well, where maybe the brand is a little bit less important, and yeah, I feel like I've got away with stuff like that perfectly well. And although some of the problems we've talked about are pretty endemic across the entire Amazon website, things like reviews and answers being terrible and product names not making sense, some categories genuinely are pretty useful. You know, I last minute decided I wanted to play Elden Ring on launch day. I bought it one day before launch day and it still showed up the next day. I can't really fault that. But what has your Amazon fashion experience been like? Have you ever ordered something and had it turn out absolutely terrible? Or are you a mainstay at the Jeff Bezos luxury department store picking stuff up on the regular? Let me know your experience or if anything in this video resonates with you in a deep emotional level. I know everyone at some point has just been totally baffled by some of those Amazon answers in the past. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a like if you did, it is massively appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got hot, fresh techwear content coming out every single week. And shout out to Best of Us. I will defend you because you're always in there early with the good comments. So I appreciate you and everyone else that is part of the team early comment gang. If I don't upload next week, it's because the Amazon assassins have taken me out. All right, bye.